Well, Antoinette, yeah, you know, this is uh, lucky that it's only those shuttle buses only have to go one stop, but the garage here at this last stop is also closed. So folks who are hoping to park and then take the subway into the city are out of luck. Now you can see behind me, this is the first time since this happened on Saturday that we've seen uh, crews actually on the ground underneath where that cement or concrete slab came crashing down. Those look like T investigators that are trying to get to the bottom of this whole situation. This afternoon, crews working to fix the roof of the Alewife station. Transit police say a man intentionally drove a car into the wall of the parking garage, toppling a 10,000 pound concrete slab onto the atrium ceiling. Glass raining down, injuring a young girl. Almost hanging, half of it was hanging. I saw this falling off, yes. I couldn't just imagine what's the, what, what the person was thinking. Uh, I don't understand. Glass still littering the floor right next to the Charlie card machines. Right now, the station is closed indefinitely as repairs are made. I'm going to be late for class, but it's okay. Buses are replacing red line service between Alewife and Davis, slowing down the commute for many, and it could stay that way for a week. We usually leave around like 8. We had to leave at like 7.45 today, so we to because it's going to take longer for the bus. If I saw that there was this problem, I would have just taken my car to school. Right. So, a little frustrating. Of course, we have to adapt to the new system, at least for, for the moment. The spot where that car was once hanging is empty, as is the garage with 2,500 spaces. Everyone here glad this didn't happen during a busy rush hour commute, and that girl didn't suffer any serious injuries. Lucky enough she didn't, and hopefully, you know, things are fixed and this won't happen too much longer. So. Now, taking a live look back here at the top floor of the Alewife garage, you can see there's fencing blocking uh, where that concrete slab once was. At this hour, the driver that crashed into that wall here is not facing any charges. Again, everyone glad this station was largely empty when this happened on Saturday, knowing that if it happened during rush hour, things could have been a whole lot worse. We're live in Cambridge this afternoon. I'm Peter Iliopoulos, WCVB News Center 5.